What's up? My name is Manny and this is Recreational 420 and uh, I'm a little stoned. <laughs> so today we're going to be checking out something completely new. Uh, I've never done a product review for a solventless product before. I don't believe I have anyway. Or if I did, it's been a long, long time. Um, but what we're going to be checking out is this Kimbo Kush uh, Garlic Breath Water Hash Rosin. That's a lot of shit to say all at once uh, by Budweiser. And that's what that looks like. So I'm gonna get into what this product actually is, how they make it, and so you understand what like this, what what makes this different than let's say um, your diamonds and sauce and whatnot. So uh, the difference between this and those products is that, as it says in the name, it's solventless. That means they don't use any sort of um, solvents. So no butane, no ethanol, no, no, uh, no alcohol, no solvents at all. They typically, it's just, uh, heat and or water, uh, depending on how they do that. Since this is a water hash, then what they do with this is they take the bud, they throw it in a bucket, throw a bunch of ice in it and water and shit and mix it all up. And all of the good shit comes to the bottom. And then after they have that stuff, then they take that and they press it and you get that. So this should be really, really good. Um, but with all that, let's get right into the numbers. <laughs> uh, as far as the numbers go, THC comes in at 96%. THCA is 78.45 and CBD is 32% or no, 0.32. There's a little point. I was like 32% CBD, damn. Um, and CBDA, which I don't know what that is. I'm gonna have to go look that up because it's on a label now is a 0.24%. So once again, Budweiser, uh, we're gonna go ahead and open this up, show you guys what it looks like. Boom, packaging is nice and intact. Uh, and then this is what we got going on right here. It smells really good as soon as I opened it. So let's see, so this is Kimbo Kush. Now, Kimbo Kush is a strain that I actually really, really enjoy. Um, I've had it from in a few different ways uh, from a few different companies, but never in a rosin. So rosin isn't necessarily my favorite uh, product. In the past, it's been something that it just, the flavor wasn't there. For me, I'm kind of like a flavor snob. And so I want things to taste good, uh, especially if I'm paying a bunch of money for it. And that that's just kind of my thing. I, it needs to... It needs to be a pleasant experience and flavor is a very big part of that experience. Ooh, so now that I broke this up, it does have that like Kimbo Kush like skunkiness. But you do get that undertone of the weird like garlickiness from the uh, garlic breath. Ooh, it's kind of funky. It's got this weird smell. I, it's really, really unique. Um, and, and then it's bright. So like it, it doesn't, feel heavy or anything like it, it it's weird to describe a scent as bright but that's what it's huh with that i'm really excited to go check this out and i will be back again with you guys in a couple of days to let you know how this went Hey guys, what's up? So I went ahead and tried that rosin and as far as the flavor was concerned, it was not my favorite. Like I said in the beginning of the video, it's really hard for me to really enjoy rosin. When I walk into a dispensary, it's not really typically going to be my first choice. I gave these guys a chance. You always take, you know, you always roll the dice every now and again. Um, the price point was, you know, right at $30 a gram. It wasn't, I wasn't expecting anything crazy. Um, and I just, it, it just had that regular rosin aftertaste. If you've ever had rosin, you know what I'm talking about more than likely, unless you only have the really fancy kind, which that stuff is like $75 a gram, typically 60 to 75. And uh, that's a little out of my league. So I uh, gave this a shot. It wasn't for me. Uh, the high, as far as the flavor, the high itself was still good. Um, it did give me uh, a nice, relaxing kind of body high that lasts all the way through. Uh, I want to say it was a good two, three hour nice like effect. 
Um, if you enjoy like the muskier flavors, I, I, I'm really like weird about the flavors I enjoy. So um, if, if you like other stuff, I'm not gonna tell you don't try this because just because I don't like it doesn't mean you're not going to. Um, so if, if you enjoy rosin, I would probably give this a shot. I'm just a picky little diva when it comes to flavor, apparently. Um, but yeah, so all around, uh, not something I would pick up again, but if you're into rosin, maybe it'll work for you. With all that, my name is Manny Tree. This has been Recreational 420, and I'll be back again with you guys soon.